Dang! Dang, we were being savage! But it didn't look like she was holding the weapon, so who... Okay, let's go ahead and save over... Save over this. What the heck? It's over. We were, only we were only able to be here because of you. This wasn't the conclusion I'd hoped for. Even though I... Never mind. It's over now. The important thing is that we won. Here, boy. A letter. An Imperial General asked me to give it to you. A letter? Let's see it. It looks like it's from Hubert, Edelgard's vassal. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. Oh, wow. They hold deep resentment against the children of the goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no wow. question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget. <laughs> They're helping us out after we took them out. I cannot wow. say she is in good health. The Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. Wow. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. Hubert, to leave a letter like this behind. You were a better man than I believed you to be. So, Rhea is alive, and the fight isn't over yet. Those who slither in the dark. It sounds like Fodlan will never know peace unless we defeat them. The allies of Monica and Tomas, well, we knew about them already. I think it's safe to assume this is the same group who used Lysithia for their blood experiments. And they were also responsible for the javelins of light that destroyed the fortress. But who are these children of the goddess who they supposedly resent? There's just not enough information here. I don't suppose there's any chance that this is his idea of a prank. If so, wow, well, good one. Hubert, rather than writing a letter, you should have just told us before we fought. Yeah, well, yeah, let's ask Rhea about it. Right. We still don't know for sure if this letter is telling the truth. Let's go find out. Man. You, you, you have come to save me. Is this, is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Claude, I can see you have grown into a reliable young man. Thank you for supporting the professor. And for rescuing me. Surely the protection of the goddess has. All right, Rhea, you got some answer. We, well, we got some children questions for you. Children. Of... What is this about? Forgive my bluntness. Someone from the Empire filled us in on a few things. I know it must be painful for us to ask you difficult questions after such an arduous confinement, but we have no choice. We must defeat a secret enemy. Those who slither in the dark. 
you know about them? You know about them? Those, Those who slither in the dark. Apparently, Apparently they, resent they resent the children of the goddess, of the goddess and, the and the people of the world, and are planning, and are planning something, something big, something terrible. Something terrible. They use blood for their wicked magic and are capable of dropping javelins of light from the sky, which are powerful enough to crush a fortress. If you can think of anything at all, please tell us now. We need to know as much as possible about these enemies in order to stop them. Yeah, Rhea, come on. This is the critical moment that will determine whether or not Fodlin falls. Can't you see that the time for secrets has passed? It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Bodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. Yeah, the King of Liberation. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He's the hero to whom the goddess gave the sword of the creator. Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. They plundered the holy tomb and stole the remains of the progenitor god. What? When Nemesis appeared in Xanado some time later, he already wielded the sword of the creator. Zen you're talking about the Red Canyon? Yeah. How do you get the sword of the creator? According to legend, the goddess gifted him the sword to fight against the evil gods. I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword. Or why he appeared in Xanado. But he used that sword to massacre the people there. The children of the progenitor god. From their corpses he gained even more power. And brought war to Fodlin. That's completely different from what the legends tell us about Nemesis. A mere bandit like Nemesis would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. Aha. Uh -huh. So Nemesis had accomplices. And those accomplices must have been those who slither in the dark. They used Nemesis. And this time, they used the Imperial Army to once again bring war to foe. Okay. I finally get it. And I even understand why Edelgard was associating with them. Just as they were trying to use the Empire, the Empire was trying to use them. Rhea, there's still a mountain of things I but why did... ask you. And I will. But I'll leave all of that but... for another day. Okay. Oh, one second. Okay, I'm making sure that I'm audible. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, but man, wow, 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 wow. So, okay, so Nemesis was not, did he get the power to wield the crust naturally or was that like gifted? I have so many questions. Okay. You must be weak after living in confinement for so long. Please, rest for a while. My friend, let's prepare for battle. We need to strike Shambhala as soon as possible. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to, to repeat itself. So wait, who are the children of... Huh. Hmm. It occurs to me that we never got an answer from Rhea about the children of the goddess. God dang. Are they the people of Zanato? She did say that the people of the Red Canyon were the children of the progenitor god, so I suppose so. But those evil guys continued to plot their revenge even after the Red Canyon tragedy. Does that mean some of the children of the goddess or their descendants are still alive? Yeah, probably all three of us. Uh, Slain? If there's something special about her blood, we can't rule out the possibility. 
What are these children anyway? And how are they connected to the goddess? Ah, I almost disappeared into the bottomless swamp that is my mind. I thought that after we defeated the Empire, I'd be able to see that sight I longed to see. What sight is that? I've told you about my dreams before. I want to break down the wall separating Fodlan from the outside world. The sight I want to see lies beyond that. Honestly, it's a trivial thing to fixate on. Just people, gathered in their towns, living out their lives together. Sometimes laughing, sometimes fighting. But the people living there aren't just citizens of Fodlan. There are people from Dagdon, Bridget, and even Dusker and Srang. There could be people who were born in Almira, or countries even farther east there, too. All of those people living together like it's nothing special at all. That's the side I long to see. It's so simple, but still so far away. But this is no time for complaining. We need to focus on capturing Shambhala. Let's hurry up and gather everyone together. Gotcha, clone. Man. I mean, he has a nice goal that he's working towards. But okay, so we have to go to Shambhala, wherever that is. So, you mean to tell me that Fodlan will fall to ruin if we leave those guys be? Um, if this map is reliable, their base is just south of my family's territory. This story is a bit much to believe. And yet... It does ring true, somehow. Hmm. Remember Monica, the one who killed Gerald, and the old man who was masquerading as Tomas? They were their allies, and the Flame Emperor and the Death Knight were merely their pawns. The people who were after my blood? Right. They were also the ones who used me to conduct their blood experiments. As awful as it sounds, they're seemingly fond of using blood in their secret techniques. <sighs> That's really gross. I could never be friends with someone like that. I believe they were also responsible for the Javelin of Light that destroyed Fort Mercy's. Hold up, boy. Do you really think that we can win against such powerful foes? That's an interesting point. I don't know. We have to try, don't we? Yeah, this is for Fodlin's future. We've really taken on something big. I wonder if our names will go down in history. My heroic name passed down to future generations. The thing that's funny about this. The thing that's funny about this is um, I'm getting like Fire Emblem Six vibes now. Like if you guys know the way that game was at the end, just a little bit anyway. So this ought to be interesting. They were trying to use the Imperial Army to plunge Fodlin into war, but we nipped that in the bud. Now we just need to tear out their roots. And I know we have what it takes to do it. Well, all right. Time to do this. So let's go ahead and uh, save. Well, actually, I'm going to be right back, guys. Phone only selectively works, it seems. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and save right here. And let's do this, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know how many battles we have left, but I'm looking forward to seeing the end of this. Part two, verdant wind, blue sea moon, the city without light. Immediately following Edelgard's defeat, the Alliance Army discovers the existence of another adversary, a group operating behind the scenes within the Empire. Claude suspects that if the true enemy is left unchecked, disaster will befall Fodlin. And so he cuts short the celebration and the troops head for Shambhala, where this Fodlin resides. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, I got some food, I guess. I got some popcorn. So that's nice. <laughs> um... Yeah. Let's do this. So, yeah, we get to go to Shambhala, I guess. Oh, so we're back to the school. Alright, I was wondering. We have one last hurrah here. Or maybe, I don't know. I just don't get it. What is it, what is it Claude? Hmm? Those, those javelins of light. 
They were trying to use it to kill us at Fort Mercius, right? But then why not drop it on Garrig Mach? They must have known for a while that we were here. It is not that they chose to refrain, but rather that they were unable to do so. Rhea, how are you feeling? I am well enough. I cannot afford to rest while Fodlan is in danger. What do you mean when you say they couldn't drop a javelin of light here? Once, a very long time ago, a massive ball of light fell upon this monastery. However, that light mysteriously changed course in mid-air and landed in Aelel instead. Oh. The Valley of Torment. So that's what the wreckage of those javelins of light looks like. I was wondering. Is not only the location of the progenitor god's eternal slumber, but also a sacred vessel for a power that repels evil. Okay. Supposedly, the progenitor god built the holy tomb herself to protect her children from the evil light. So the children of the goddess gathered in Xanado because of its proximity to the monastery? But we've fought at distant locations many times. Despite that, the Javelins of Light only fell on Fort Mercius. In his letter, Hubert said that he detected their magic when the fort fell. In other words, because they used a Javelin of Light, Hubert was able to pinpoint the location of their base. So they didn't use it before then because they didn't want us to know where their base is? In any case, those Javelins of Light must be something they can't just use whenever they want. And they finally decided to use one at Mercius, where they were sure they'd be able to finish us off. It's only thanks to the whims of the Death Knight that we escaped with our so lives. So the Death Knight helped us? And no javelins of light have fallen since then. It's possible that the enemy hasn't yet realized that we've learned the location of their base. If so, their guard may be down, which makes this the perfect time for a surprise attack. I will accompany you. Whoa, really? What? No, no. That would be far too dangerous. Are you giving me my Athos unit? The confinement weakened you greatly, did it not? Those people have opposed us since ancient times. I wish to learn the truth about them for myself. I... I understand. I will not stop you. But please, take care not to overexert yourself. We don't know exactly what we're up against here. But having you around is very reassuring, Rhea. Let's prepare to strike at Shambhala before they make their next move. Man. Okay. So that explains some things. I guess... So, I guess the children of the goddess are probably... I mean, the hair matches matches the description. But um, it's probably Rhea... Um, Rhea, Seth, and Flane. And I guess me. But I feel like I'm not naturally that. Like, one, I was born recently. So whatever she did... She probably managed to create a child forcefully. But if so the fire emblem is that like a specific manifestation or the crest of flames? I have so many goddamn questions. Um but okay, well, I'm glad by the way that um we can go ahead and do this still. Um hmm anyone that I do want to promote still that can't yet. I don't know. All right, well, let's go ahead and just uh, explore today, and then we'll talk to everyone. Hello. I thought that after the empire fell, the boar might finally be avenged. And that something dark is certainly lurking in the shadows. An organization behind the empire. And we'll have to take care of them with the boar, if Dimitri is to rest in peace. Shambhala, it was called, right? It's scary that it's so close to the House Gonroll territories. Who'd have thought all those creeps were living right under my nose? I was hoping my big brother would help us in this next battle. But he says that I can represent House Gonroll without his help. That we're never gonna meet this guy. I don't even know what he looks like. That I have some ability. Still, I wish he wasn't leaving it all. Is it really prudent to bring Lady Rhea on our upcoming expedition? It would be best not to have her doing anything strenuous, considering how long she was confined. I feel similarly. There are still many in Fodlan who are seeking Lady Rhea's salvation, 
For their sake, we cannot put her in harm's way. Lady Rhea's back! Lady Rhea's back! I'm so happy! Here you are! But things aren't gonna be like they used to be anytime soon, are they? There's still folks out there that want us all dead, and Lady Rhea still hasn't regained her strength yet. Speaking of which, Professor, please don't ask too much of her right now, okay? Okay, dude. You got it. Rhea is sleeping right now. If it is not absolutely urgent, please do not disturb her rest. The long confinement took its toll on her health. Truthfully, she is in no shape to be exerting herself at all, to say nothing of a military expedition. To make matters worse, we are now facing a very old enemy. One that has conspired against us since time out of mind. Please proceed with caution. I have a bad feeling. Professor, I just got word from the Opera Company. I don't know if everyone survived, but it looks like they should be able to mount a revival. Mm. They even asked if I'd consider making a return to the stage someday. Oh, wow. I suspect I may refuse, though. We're at the dawn of something new. No reason to look backwards, eh? I mean, if you think you'll enjoy yourself, well, that's all on you for... Oh, greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I can hardly believe you managed to handle the capital city like that. Everyone did sterling work. I really thought we'd know peace after that battle. But we're not quite there yet, huh? Yeah. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is sometimes. Hello. I thought that taking the Empire's capital would bring an end to this war. How naive of me. I'll have to write to my family and tell them I'll be gone a while longer. Need something? Ah, I need 300 That's points, which is exactly what Hilda gives me for the stupid quest. I'm mad. Okay. Um. Well, let's go ahead and talk to everyone. We got Flane and Catherine. Hey, Flane. I'm so glad that Rhea is unharmed. My brother continues to worry about her. However, of course, I am worried myself. I cannot imagine being in that situation while in such a state. She should just leave things to you and Claude and get the rest she needs. Those who slither in the dark, it seems will finally discover their true form. I get the sense that they're in league with the mages who experimented on me as a child. I wouldn't be surprised if Edelgard was subjected to them too. There's no telling what their true motives are. See, she's thinking the same whatever thing. Their motives, what they have done is unforgivable. They must be exterminated. Yeah. We gotta take out the weird creepy cult. Alright. We rescued Lady Rhea. I can hardly express my joy. But now we know about a new foe who intends to bring her harm. In time, we'll realize the peaceful world that Lady Rhea has always hoped for. I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm fighting. Hello. Fighting against enemies whose true nature is unknown is honestly really scary. Still, if there's a force in this world that clearly means us harm, we have no choice but to fight back. With our own hands, we'll safeguard Foglin's future. Yep. All right. Hey, Ignatz. Our opponent is an ally of Solon. Do you remember what Solon called us? Insects? No. Beasts? He called us beasts. Meanwhile, he refers to himself as the savior. Who exactly is he saving? Wake up, eat, train, eat, train, eat, sleep. We gotta prepare for the assault, but that hasn't changed my routine. Isn't there more he can do? <laughs> All that training and eating. I do is <laughs> gotta stay strong and fed to keep it safe. Girl, we saved Rhea and the Empire has crumbled. The kingdom may as well be finished too. The reasons for me to remain in Fodlan are fading. Please stay with us a little longer. Of course. I've come this far. May as well see it through to the end. We crushed the Empire at long last. But there's no time to bask in our victory. We must prepare for the coming battle. We knew there was a secret group behind the Imperial Army all this time. Now we have a chance to make the first move against them. We have Hubert to thank for that. It's also thanks to him that we were able to rescue Rhea. 
I still have plenty of questions I'd like to ask her. Are you going to see her? Well, if we plan to have her march into battle with us again, we'd better let her recuperate. Rhea is the only one who gets a break, though. Everyone else had better start preparing for battle. I guess my question is, like, why didn't Rhea, like, do anything sooner? I don't, well, I, I don't know. Anyway. We won against the Imperial Army. I still can't believe it. But I guess we still have some enemies left. I'm not well informed, but I have plenty of fighting spirit. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, you guys die by the hundreds, I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs, was applying pressure in the West, but he surrendered after the Empire fell. Cornelia of the Fargus Dukedom seems to have disappeared from the palace, and rather swiftly. He must have realized that the revival of the Old Kingdom was a real threat. Hmm. Hey! You did it! I never thought I'd live to see the day that the Empire was <laughs> This guy's broken. I thought that would put an end to the war. But I hear there are still hostile forces to contend with. I hope you'll be able to put an end to this conflict and found a new Fodlin in which the free market can thrive. Well then, hey, Lawrence. A mysterious power threatening the very future of Fodlin? Certainly, we cannot give it leeway. Oh, is he gonna break free? In comparison to this, the internal power struggles is he break free? Are Dang it. <laughs> he was so close. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Lawrence. Aren't you frightened? Or do you think we can defeat it? There is simply no option but victory. The alternative is unthinkable. Perhaps I will have the opportunity to strike the decisive blow on the enemy command. That ain't gonna happen. If anything, it's gonna be Leone. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and go up here. Hey, Aloise. You done it. You did it. You crushed the Empire and rescued Lady Rhea. I'm sure the captain is proud of you right now. As am I, of course. I'm as proud as if I'd done it myself. We still have opponents left to fight, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to overdo it. We still have to deal with Monica's group. Those who killed the captain. Right. We'll knock them down so hard that they can't get back up. Heck yeah. Hey, Marianne. I thought the war would end with Edelgard's defeat. But that wasn't the case. This may be premature, but I'm feeling a little relieved. You're just... I have to consider what I'll do with Jojo pose? and where I'll go when this war is finally over. I don't have an answer yet. Let's make sure the next battle puts an end to this war. That way, we can all move forward. The folks we're fighting next aren't normal humans, are they? It's that group who caused the Javelin of Light to fall, right? It just doesn't seem like something a human is capable of. I'm not prone to flinching, but I don't feel great about any of this. I'm sorry guys, you probably don't want to watch me eat. I'm just like, enjoying it. And it's here. It'll go cold if I know. A mysterious organization, slithering in the dark of Fodlan, like something out of a midnight tale. It appears these fiends have infiltrated the deepest corners of the Empire. After the fall of Enbar, they've remained well concealed. That said, I will keep an eye on Edelgard's uncle, Lord Arundel. Something about him sits ill with me. These are Monica's people, aren't they? The ones who killed Captain Geralt. Then this is my real opportunity for revenge. There's no way I can back down from this one. You're not scared? No, I'm okay. Actually, I'm eager to get out there and fight. This is what I've been training for. Claude and Lysith. Strategically speaking, if I poised an archer to lie in wait here, and then lure the enemy in over here... Lysithia, are you up late studying again? I am, but I don't see how it's any of your business. Look, you don't need to work yourself so hard. You're already as skilled as they come. There aren't many people out there who can match you. Everyone knows that. I apologize for my sharpness. I just feel pressured. Why would you, of all people, feel pressured? I place a lot of personal pressure on myself. I need to become as strong as possible to put my parents at ease. 
When I met with Count Ordelia before, he said you were his pride and joy. But he also said his only concern was that you might be pushing yourself too hard. If you really want to make your parents happy, surely you should start by taking care of yourself. That's true. Mm. Then it's settled. Get some rest. Save your energy for tomorrow's battle. You really are very mature, Claude, despite the impression you give off. And I clearly have plenty of growing to do. I probably don't have much room to come down on you for harping on me. Oh, really? <laughs> Does that mean you won't get mad if I treat you like a child from now on? That is absolutely <laughs> not what I said. Just after you finally earned a small degree of respect from me, too. <laughs> hey, just think about it for a second. You're the only one in the world I treat like this. That means you're a pretty special person to me. You think I'm special? Take it however you like. Or maybe the thought is too much for a kiddo like you. How dare you! <laughs> don't do anything you might regret. I don't want to be turned to dust. <laughs> I'm feeling generous. So I'll let you off easy this one time. <laughs> well, that's good of you. All joking aside, go get yourself some shut eye, okay? After all, if you don't hurry up, the boogeyman might come out and eat you. Freaking Claude. All right, buddy, you asked for it. <laughs> and thus, Claude was never heard from again. Okay, so we got Hilda and Sedith, A support one. Let's go. This ought to be good. Oh, said it. Good day. Is it? <laughs> I, uh, uh, did I do something wrong? Not to my knowledge. But I cannot help but notice that you no longer shy away when I speak to you. <laughs> you notice that, huh? When you stare at me, I feel like you're peering into my soul. And that no longer bothers you? Does that mean your conscience is finally clear? Nah, I got used to it. I know you're not scary. That's <laughs> unfortunate. You really should do something to correct your lazy behavior. Maybe that's true. I wouldn't want to be like the fox, forced to wander. So she get it. She got it. I'm pleased to see you grasp the moral of the story. Don't you think the squirrel was a little cold-hearted, though? He seemed not to care about what happens to his friend, as long as he himself is happy. You know, that is a valid point. I have no wish to encourage that attitude in children. Perhaps if the fox only survives thanks to the squirrel kindly sharing some of his acorns. How does that sound to you? Hmm. I like it okay. I'm sure the kids will admire that nice compassionate squirrel. Thank you for your insight. <laughs> As it happens, I have some other stories that I wrote for Flame. Would you like to hear them? You should make a book out of them. It's a shame <laughs> that only Flame and I get to enjoy them. What a fine idea. I will begin immediately. Though I feel such a book requires illustrations, and I have no artistic talent. Would you lend me a hand? I don't think she is like a bit uh, of an Ignace artist, but be yeah, Ignaz would be a better choice. I can probably manage. Not like they need to be too Oh, I bet fancy. it's gonna be bad. I could use some more of your wisdom with regard to the content of the stories also. That sounds like a pain, but I'm invested in this now. Let's do it. <laughs> Excellent. That's wonderful to hear. Let us produce the very best. Ah, is this the game the set it's doing? Excited. I can't help but lend a hand. Oh, Sedith. Love that man. Alright. Oh, we got another one with Sedith. Uh, who is it? Oh, Catherine. Okay. Hey, Sedith. I've been meaning to ask you. What is your relationship with Lady Rhea? That is certainly an abrupt question. You're much closer to her than anyone else in the entire church. Certainly, you're a good, upstanding person, but I can't help but feel there's something more to it. Supporting the Archbishop is my sole professional interest. Personally, I consider her to be something akin to a companion. A companion? Oh, boy. Yes, as in a traveling companion. Friends who walk the same path toward the same destination. Hmm. 
companion, huh? A companion. I guess that does sound about right, now that you say it. Though, I'll confess to being quite jealous. Not many people can call themselves companions of Lady Rhea. I do not know how she feels about it. <laughs> oh, come on. You must trust that she feels the same about you. There is no need for that sort of trust. My duties are the same regardless of her perspective. I consider you to be a companion also. A companion in fighting for the Archbishop? <laughs> Certainly. Our goals are firmly aligned when it comes to that, are they not? You're right, they are. I suppose you and I could be considered companions in that sense. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my sentiment reciprocated. I rely on you a great deal, after all. More than most. Whoa there, what's all this now? Flattery won't win you any prizes with me, said it. I do not flatter. I merely want you to understand why it matters to me that you be more cautious in battle. As your companion, it is my wish for you to be safe. Oh, good, we're back in familiar territory. <laughs> with you admonishing me. Good old set it. I'll always try to live up to your expectations. So don't expect too much or you'll wear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. Really? Okay, that's interesting that it didn't want me to do it. Um, actually, let's go to the shop. Yeah, let's go to the market. Well, actually, let me check the quest. How many of those things does it want? It wants one Albinian, so I'm good. I just need two cabbages. Um, let's go ahead and finish exploring. So, let's go ahead and instruct manually one last time. <laughs> well, maybe one last time, I don't know. Okay, um, what was that at about? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Alright, anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's get back to this. Um, so Lysith, I'm going to keep training your sword, but this is not going to go by very quickly. Honestly, the game is almost over. I think it might be too late for you. Alright, well, um, let's now go ahead and train, um, hmm, Hanuman? I guess I could train him with faith. Well, let's give him a C in authority. Perhaps Italian desperation. Okay. Hey, way to go, Hanneman. All right. So then there's Manuela. I think she's probably fine. Um. Shamir? Is there any point in training her at this point? I already have her at the class I want her to be. Um, Raph? Let's increase his authority. Hey, way to go, Raph! <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, now there's gonna be Leone. Um... Yeah, I think she's good, too. Mm. We can boost your magic skills. That seems good to me. Hey, way to go. Of course. Okay. Sweet. Gosh, I have three more to use. Um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and boost your sword skills, because it's there. Alright, way to go, Seth. and boom, and boom. Well, he's close to a C. <laughs> um, Flame, let's see if we can level this up to the point where you could actually use this gambit a lot, because that would help things out tremendously. Hey, Flame, way to go. 
Ah, almost there. Okay. Well, um... I guess Manuela. That'd be the one that would make the most sense for next. Uh, let's train your black magic skills. Alright, and there we go. Way to go, Manuela. And we're good. Okay, so... I guess we're just gonna keep doing that, too. Let's begin training. To ask you. I have a tactical question, Professor. Let's say you're leading an army and the enemy, whose forces greatly outnumber your own, has you surrounded. What do you do in that situation? Hmm. That would probably get yourself killed. Um. If everyone attack, no, because if you go forward, then everyone's gonna. That might be your best bet, unless they cut in the middle and then I'll go with that one. Are you pulling my leg? Well, there we go. Professor. That's how you get killed. Um, mm, yep, do it. I forgot about Lawrence. I should have trained him more in that. Still have some left, but not too much. Let's show them the power we've acquired. Yeah, I'm glad it's you. We did some. Way to go, guys! Dang, all those A's. <laughs> um. Oh. It's... Okay. Sure. Saint Sethlene Day. Please tell me Flane's there. Dang it. May my song reach the goddess in the sky. Singing's okay, but... <laughs> of course. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, let's give flowers. Okay. Hmm. Let's do certifications really quick, and I don't qualify for anything yet. Oh, he can attempt. Let's see, he has a 49% chance. Oh boy. Well, we can save. Honestly, I pulled off lower before, so... Let's see right there. Okay, and... Certifications, Lawrence. let's go for it, man. You did it! This man! Look at it! Sweet! That's Lawrence for you, man. He is a beast. Alright, so... What magic does he have? Um... Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like he has any magic. Uh... Unless I can equip that somehow. Hold on. Um... Let me check Lysith. Oh, it doesn't say there either. Hmm. Oh, okay. What does he have? Fire and Sagite, which... It's not too bad, I guess. Um, if I gave him that... <laughs> the staff that Lysith has, he would have some pretty good reach. Oh, that, that probably would be not too bad. In terms of, like, strats to take. Oh, is she gonna attempt it? Alright, let's save. Let's save again. Alright, so let's go to certifications. Lysith, we're gonna attempt the Mortal Salvant class. Let's go. We have Ninja Lysith! We have Ninja Lysith! 
Oh my gosh. So what does she get? Perfect comprehension. Heck yeah. Alright. So let's also go ahead while we're at it then. Um, let's change what uh, ability she has. Can she still heal? Um, maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, store the sword. And we'll go ahead and pull out a... Hmm. Actually, let's go ahead and go to the shop. Marketplace, armory, buy, um, Lysith. Heck yeah. <laughs> let's go. Okay. So, anything else in particular that I want to do that with? I don't know. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there's a bullion. I just saw one. Uh, it is right there. Cool. Any other bullions in question that I just haven't sold yet? Oh, I saw one. Alright. Boom. Oh, and another one. Where the heck? Ah, uh, yep. There it is. Okay. So, I think that's it. Hmm... Man, we have so many items. So many items. I'm just hoarding everything. Everything. Um, let's go ahead and save again. See if anyone can qualify for any other class ups right now. Um, hmm. Eloise seems good and content. Um, hmm. Trying to think here. Hmm. What about Ignaz? No. Raph? Raph already has two. Um, Claude is good. I don't think Claude needs another class. So, yeah, I think class wise, we're pretty much set now. I already have what Lysith was going for, and I have what Lawrence was going for, so. I mean, there's Hanneman. Hanneman and Manuela, actually, I need to work on those two. Um, but let's go ahead and save right about here. Okay. And let's go ahead and... Um, I guess we'll battle. Or do I want to rest? I can do it that other weekend. Let's rest. Okay. Sword of the Creator is now back up. So let's go ahead and uh, instruct manually once again. I probably should have done it automatically. Okay, so. Hmm. Regardless, I'm still gonna level up your magic, dude. Okay. Oh! There you go, Lorenz! Okay. So that worked out for him. Um, who was it that I was gonna level up next? Ah, yes, you. Um, let's boost your attack magic. Okay, that's as far as I could take that. Um, let's go ahead and improve your healing. Okay. Well, he might get there one day. Um, hmm. Catherine, you need to work on your magic for sure. Hey, way to go, girl! Too... Alright. Oh, sweet! Now she's level C! And she has Bulganon! Well, that's good. Um, hmm. So we have... Cyril over here, which I think he's doing pretty okay. We could... Increase his bow skill. Hey, there we go, Cyril. There you go. Oh my gosh, now he's going to be rank B. Yeah. Okay. And Ingrid is probably fine. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, then there's Marianne, which... Um, yep, I think I was going to level this up at some point. Come on, Marianne! Can we get a perfect? Nope. Alright, well, you're doing good. 
And now we have Ignots over here, which probably wouldn't hurt to promote them to something at some point, but let's, um, hmm, let's increase his attack magic. Let it go, Ignots! Heck yeah! And he has reason level two. Alright! Oh, you have one more attempt. Okay! Well, with that, let's just move on. Let's begin training. Now we get to watch this bit again. This proves you. A oh, sweet diamond axe. Well, that's ought to be useful. All right, let's go ahead and explore. Frick it, I'm skipping. I don't need this. <laughs> um, frick it, automatically. I'm getting it. Okay. Oh, it's Claude's birthday. Dude. Alright, let's give him some flowers. And, alright. Oh, and then we get to watch him and Leone just handle the horses again. Alright, so right before this uh, next weekend finishes, I'm gonna be taking a break again. Um, cause I think I need to get something to eat for real before we actually finish this off. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Hmm... Yeah, let's go ahead and battle. Man. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna gamble on this, okay? Let's go ahead and explore. I'm gambling on this. Please give me a cabbage so I can get that 300 renown. Please. <laughs> I just want to get that EXP boost. Okay. Hello, greenhouse keeper. Harvest. Frick. <sighs> Just whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. I tried. <sighs> well, hey. You know what? Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Is that gonna be it for me? Probably. But hey, I tried. Let's go ahead. Goddess messenger. Chess key. God dang. Aramid Pike. Albinian Berries. Are there any other items about that I can just go ahead and get? I don't even know. Um, as far as cabbage, the only place I can think of that would probably have that would be down at the shop. Um, well, let's go ahead check down here anyway um Anna you wouldn't happen to have okay yep that's what I thought what about you hmm tell your friends if you were here this if it was here this whole time I would have been so mad. Um, hey, welcome. Hmm. Come again. Well, I tried. Professor. Unless I did find it somewhere randomly. Uh. Okay. Hello. Man, the frame rate here. Now that's something special. 
Um, okay. <sighs> well, without further ado, I took a gamble and I lost. So I think we're just gonna roll with it. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and save first before I do this. Um, let's save there. And okay, um, I'm gonna be right back one more time. I'm gonna be getting some food. And um, mm -hmm. then, yeah, we're gonna be getting into the next fight. Maybe the last one? I have no idea. Um, either way, I will be right back, guys, a little bit. Um, not in like a bad way. Like, I have like livable asthma, but it's a whole other thing. And without further ado, <clears throat> let's just go ahead and do this. I want to see where I want to see how this goes. All right, mission time. So, yeah, are you guys ready? I, I'm not sure if this is the last fight, but I'm really excited to see at least what happens next. Um, let's do this. Stand strong at Shambhala. Though the flame of war is, is quenched, its embers endure. You travel deep underground to confront those who slither in the dark and bring everlasting peace to Fodland. Let's do this, guys.